Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs>
the book of Psalms is a is a song book. Yeah. And if I if I was to try to sing this, I I wouldn't have the right tune to it or the the right cadence to it because when this was originally wrote, it was wrote in Hebrew, and I don't know the words to that. I speak English, so therefore the whole tune of the song would be all messed up because I don't understand the way it was wrote. But it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Amen. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. Amen. It is He that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Thank you for standing for the reading of the Word tonight. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, that You'd use these words of my Lord. Feed what temp, Lord, to bringing out the words of your Bible, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you just bless somebody, Lord. I, I pray, Lord, that you just help each and every one of us to hide your word in our heart that we wouldn't sin against. Yes, Lord, help us as we stand tonight, Lord. I, I appreciate everything you've done for us, Lord. We thank you and praise you for what you've done. We ask in your precious name. Amen. 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 Yes. As, as we as we get into this uh, these few verses here. And it, it's not a very long chapter, but uh, the Bible, there's, there's a few things that we should be thankful for. You know, the, the world, they, they come out and they, uh, they come out with Halloween and then they jump straight to Christmas and they forget all about Thanksgiving. Yes, but Halloween is their biggest money maker now. It, it far surpasses Christmas anymore. They, they sell so much merchandise and so much candy and so much things that Christmas is not even thought about as much as Halloween anymore. Yeah. But everybody, just about everybody except for Christians, jump over Thanksgiving and think nothing about it. That's right. But we as Christians, we as Bible believers, we are to have a spirit of Thanksgiving and a continual praise to God on our lips at all times. Yeah. And uh, we, we, we fail a lot of times to do that, even as Christians. Uh, we're, we're truly sometimes we're an ungrateful people we're ungrateful we've got a whole nation of people that are ungrateful for what God has given to us but we ought to be grateful for what he's done for us now, I wrote down a few things here some things just to be thankful for but as, as we go into this uh, Thanksgiving season I want you to think about how we ought to have a spirit of thanksgiving in our heart all the time to the Lord for what he's done because because if you read these verses, and I, I may read them again here, but there's key points that jump out at you as you read this. Make a joyful noise. To who? Unto the Lord. Amen. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Yes. Don't come to church not expecting That's right. the Lord to do anything for you. We, we come and we serve the Lord with gladness. Yes. We're to be a happy people. Yes. Come before His presence with singing. That first verse said, make a joyful noise. That's what I do. I, I don't sing much, but I make a joyful noise. Yeah. Listen, it says, know ye that the Lord, He is God. Come before His presence. Or know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that has made us and not we ourselves. Amen. We are His people. We're not ourselves. We're His people. Amen. And the sheep of His pasture enter into His gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. Yes. Thankful Amen. unto the Lord. Not, not unto ourselves, but unto the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. And bless his name, not mine. My name ain't worth a dime. Bless him. But we bless the Lord because of his name. Amen. For the Lord is good. Yes. His mercy is everlasting. Right. Well, we ought to be thankful for that. Yes. And his truth endureth to all generations. Yes. And I wrote down four or five things here. Just some things we can be thankful for. First of all, I want to say that I'm thankful for the Lord's forgiveness. Amen. Listen, if it wasn't for His forgiveness, none of us would be here tonight. Right. Listen, He has forgiven me for everything I've ever done. Yes. Listen, when He died on the cross, He died with the, the intent to forgive my sins. He died for my sins. Praise he God. didn't have any of His own. 
That's right. He took upon him the form of a servant. Amen. He didn't have no sins to die for. Amen. But Brother Vern, when he died for me, he died as me also. Yeah, I'm thankful for that. Praise I'm God. thankful that we have forgiveness Thank in you. his blood. Yeah. Not our own. Amen. Listen, we couldn't die for ourselves. It wouldn't do no good. Amen. But listen, the Lord Jesus Christ died once for all, the book of Hebrews tells us. That's right. Listen, we, we don't have to bring sacrifices like they did in the Old Testament anymore. Amen. It's all been paid for. Amen. The yeah. Lord Jesus Christ, it said He came once for all. Yes. And listen, forever sat down on the right hand of the Father, yeah. expecting till His enemies be made His footstool. Listen, he, He's sitting right there on the throne beside the Father. Amen. Listen, He don't have to get up. He can rest because the work was done. Listen, I, I'm resting in the fact that when he died on the cross, he said it is finished. Yeah. Listen, I don't have to add anything to salvation. No. I don't have to take anything away. It's all been finished. Praise I've God. been forgiven because of the Lord Jesus Christ and what he done. Amen. I asked him into my heart. He done the work. Yes, he done the work. That's right. I can rest in that and I can thank him for what he's done for me. Amen. I'm thankful for his forgiveness. Let me read you a few verses here. Psalm 103 and verse 1. And a lot of churches, they'll do this uh, as a whole. And I have no problem with that, but it wouldn't hurt us sometimes when we're off by ourselves to do this. But just to worship the Lord because of who He is. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that was in me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits, Amen. who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Listen, all my sin-sick diseases and all my sin-sick iniquities, they was forgiven when I asked Him into my heart. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ died for that. Yes. The, the, the biggest iniquity I had, I was, having a, I was on death row because of, the Lord, because of what I'd done. Yeah, and because of what Adam had done before us, the Bible tells us, tells us that Adam plunged us all into sin. Yeah. But listen, because of Jesus... We can all be made alive tonight. Amen. Listen, I'm thankful for His forgiveness. Amen. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. We can be thankful in the fact that He came to cleanse our sins. Amen. He came to die just for us. 1 John 2 12, it says, I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven for His name's sake. There it is again. Not my name's sake, but for His name's sake. Amen. Yes. It's for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Pilate said, said unto Jesus when, he, uh, when they brought Him before Him, He said, Know ye not that I have power to take your life? And the Lord Jesus said unto Him, said, You have no power at all unless it be given unto you by my Father. He said, To this end came I into the world. Which means Jesus knew exactly why he had come to the. He knew exactly why he took upon himself the form of a servant. He knew exactly why he was coming into this world. He came to die just for me and just for you. And listen, we can be thankful in the fact that he does forgive us. Amen. Listen, some people will say, "Well, well, I, I, uh, the Lord don't love me. I, I can't be forgiven. Yeah, I've gone too far." Listen, there, there's. I know that there's a deadline that you can cross out there somewhere. Some people have went too far. They've become reprobate. The Bible talks about that. But most people, that's not happened yet. Most people, that's not happened to them yet. You can be forgiven. Listen, if you're, if you're convicted of your sins, the Lord Jesus can save you. You have to see yourself as a sinner before you'll ever get salvation. Listen, the Lord Jesus loves you. He died just for you. Listen, He died for me. But I'm thankful for His forgiveness. Amen. And uh, as, as we go down through this, we can, we can pick up different things to be thankful for. But I'm also thankful for His forgetfulness. You say the Lord forgets? He sure does. He chooses to forget. The book of Hebrews tells us their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful that He don't remember my sins. Amen. He's blotted my sins out. Thank he God. washed them away with His blood. Praise Listen, God. I'm thankful that He forgets all my failures. Amen. 
Oh my iniquities, all oh, my diseases that I needed to be healed of, the Lord has forgiven me. And He has forgotten all that stuff that I've done in the past. Amen. The Apostle Paul said, forgetting those things which are behind yes. and looking for the things which are ahead. He said, I press toward the mark Praise for the prize of the high call. Yes. Well, listen, that's what we need to do. We need to forget about our past. Yes. Listen, our past, if uh, we, we get our mind on that and the, the devil will bring it up a lot of times. Right. And other people we know before we got saved, they'll bring it up. Yeah. But I'm glad that the Lord Jesus never brings up my past. Right. He never brings it up. Yeah. He, he has just forgotten totally about that. He has forgot all about it because He chooses to forget. Yeah. And he, he said here that uh, Psalm 103, and verse 10, He hath not dealt with us after our sins nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. I'm thankful that He don't remember my sins. He, he don't hold grudges over us. He don't uh, uh, t set us aside as an example and say, don't be doing what they're doing. He, he don't set our sin before everybody. He don't mark our iniquity, the Bible says. Amen. But I'm glad that He has chosen to forget our sin. Yes. Listen, He forgives us. But I'm thankful for His forgetfulness. Amen. I'm glad that He forgives and forgives. Yes. But people can't do that a lot of times. That's right. A lot, a lot of people say, well, I've forgiven you and forgot all about it. They ain't bit more forgot it than the man in the moon. That's right. They ain't forgot nothing. Yeah. They're still holding on to the same grudges they've always hold, held on to. Yeah. But the Lord Jesus Christ don't do that. Right. He don't hold on to grudges. Listen, He, he could have took every one of us and he would have been just in doing this, but he could have thrown us all into hell and never give us a chance to be saved. Amen. And he would have been just and he'd have been righteous. He would have still been holy. He would have still been God. But he gave us a chance yes. to be saved. Thank you, Lord. Listen, we're thankful for his forgiveness. And uh, it says here in Psalm 130 and verse 3 If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee. Praise God. That thou mayest be feared. Yes. Listen, he don't mark our iniquities. He's forgiven us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If, if he dealt with us according to our sins, none of us would be here. Yeah. We wouldn't be standing today. Amen. Right. He has not dealt with us according to that. I'm glad that there's forgiveness with the Lord. Amen. I'm glad that there's forgetfulness. Yeah. I'm thankful that he has chose to forget. He, it's not that he's absent-minded. He just chooses to forget. The Bible says that he has cast our uh, sins as far as the east is from the west. Now you can go out and you can start walking tonight and you can walk east and go all the way around the world and you'll never be going any way but east. Now you can start out west tonight and you'll go west and go all the way around the globe and you'll never be going east. You can't do that going north and south. If you go north and go across the globe, you'll eventually have to head south. Amen. And if you start south, you'll eventually have to head back north. Yes. But the Lord knowed that in His foreknowledge. Right. He knowed that when He set the world into existence. When he, when, he, when he took holy men of old and they wrote down and penned the Bible, the Lord knowed that. And He wrote that He cast our sin as far as the east is from the west. Yes. I'm Hallelujah. thankful for that. I, I'm thankful that uh, as my pastor says, the, the verse in the Bible that says he has cast our sins into the sea of forgetfulness. My pastor says he put up a no fishing sign. <laughs> listen, you can't fish them back out there. That's right. You might. The devil might. Yes. But listen, God never does. Amen. When God looks at me, he don't see me. Right. He don't see me as a sinful man. He sees the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Because when he died for me, he died as me. And I'm thankful for that tonight. But listen, I'm thankful that there is forgiveness with thee that thou mayest be feared. The Lord forgets. He don't remember our iniquities. I'm thankful for that. I, I, I've, got a, I've got a lot of uh, a lot of sin and stuff that has scarred my mind of things we partook of before we were saved. And you have too. Things that the devil will bring up even even be sitting in a church service and the, the Lord will bring, not the Lord, but the devil will bring stuff up to you that you've Amen. done. Yeah. He's, the Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. Right. Listen, he goes in and accuses us before the Lord. And the Lord says, I don't know what you're talking about. 
Amen. That's all been wiped away. Thank My God. blood has washed that away. Amen. I've forgotten all about it. Glory to God. I think sometimes he must look at Satan and say, Are you crazy? Amen. Listen, Amen. There, there's nothing to be accused of. Praise the Lord. There's Amen. nothing that we, the God has remembered. He don't remark my iniquities. He could, but he don't. Amen. And I'm thankful for that. Thankful that it's a fact. It's a fact that's laid out in the Bible. That's what we base our salvation on. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Listen, my faith and my trust, everything that I believe comes out of the Bible. Listen, if it don't, we ain't got a leg to stand on. Amen. Listen, we, we base our faith on what the Bible says. Listen, when he says I, their sins and iniquities will I remember no more, I believe that. You can't change my mind about it. Right. But I'm thankful that he don't deal with me according to my iniquities. Ain't you thankful for that? Yeah. Yeah. I am. Amen. Listen, we, we could call recess and shout for 15 minutes about yeah. that. Yes, sir. Listen, Amen. he loves us and he's forgot all about things we've done. Glory to but God. no matter who brings it up, I don't care if a... If a the most well-known judge or whatever in the world, maybe the president or whoever would accuse me of something. The Lord don't accuse me. My sins have been forgiven. I don't have to add anything to my salvation because the Lord has marked out my iniquity. The Bible says, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as wool. Though they be red like, or they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Listen, he's washed them away. It's in the red blood of Jesus. Listen, Amen. nothing else we know of could take an old black heart and wash it away and it be white as snow. Hallelujah. Listen, that's the only thing. I know. That's the greatest stain fighter in the world. Amen. Listen, he loves us. He don't mark me after my iniquities. Listen, I'm thankful for the faithfulness of God. Listen, we, we can be thankful for his forgiveness. Right. We can be thankful for His forgetfulness. But we can be thankful for His faithfulness. Amen. Listen, I'm not always faithful. Listen. You're not always faithful. Listen, the Bible says, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Amen. Yeah. Listen, we've not always done that. Are we always faithful? Do we always have a... Uh, uh, or have just, just if we could take this uh, one little chapter here, have we, have we done everything that this... Little chapter tells us to do? I don't think so. Bless him, God. We, we're not always coming before the Lord with gladness and before His presence with singing. We fail in that. So, how can we be faithful over other things? But listen, the Lord is always faithful. Yes, amen. There's never been a time when He wasn't faithful. Amen. He's always been faithful. Praise God. Listen, I, I base that on what His Word says. And it says here in Psalm. Uh, 89 verse 1, I will sing to the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. Listen, he's been faithful to all generations. Listen, he started out with Adam and Eve. Now listen, Adam and Eve sinned there in the garden, plunged us all into sin. The Lord was faithful unto them. He made a way of escape for them. He, he, uh, he sacrificed two animals there in the garden. Made coats of skins for them. Made a way of escape. Amen. Pointing to the time when the Lord Jesus would die on Calvary. Yes. Listen, that we today, we look back to Calvary. Listen, we don't offer the sacrifices of the Old Testament. Right. Listen, we look back to Calvary. Amen. What the Lord Jesus did. He's been faithful to all generations. Amen. Yes. Listen, it says here, I will make known thy faithfulness in all generations. For I have said, mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in the very heavens. Listen, he is faithful. As long as the stars shine, the Lord will be faithful. You've heard that saying? Listen, even if every one of the stars fell out of the sky, he'd still be faithful. Amen. He's faithful. He's God. You cannot change him. No matter what, you will not change him. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6, he said, I am the Lord. I change not. Amen. Hebrews says that Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, Today and forever. You won't change the Lord. Amen. If He's been faithful to all generations. When He started out, He was faithful. And as we get to where we're living in the present, He is faithful. Listen, as we look into the future, He's going to be faithful. No matter what we do, He is faithful. 
The book of Timothy tells us, uh, I believe it's 2 Timothy, talks about, uh, talks about enduring hardness as a good soldier. And it says, if we deny him, yet he abideth faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Amen. You say, what's that mean? Well, even if I come in here and say Jesus Christ didn't know what he was talking about, that don't change the Lord Jesus. Amen. Listen, he's still going to be faithful Amen. because he cannot deny himself. Amen. He Amen. cannot. Praise to God. deny himself would be to change the very existence of God. Something that he cannot do. Amen. He cannot change his character. He cannot right. because he would cease to be God. Listen, everybody calls the Lord Jesus into question. The Sanhedrin there, the Pharisees, Pilate, Herod, all of them that he stood on trial before them and nobody could find a fault in him. Why? Because he's been faithful to all generations. Amen. They couldn't find no fault in this just man. That's what Pilate said. He called him a just man several different times. He couldn't find no fault in him. Amen. Listen, he has been faithful. And uh, it says here in uh, Psalm 92 and verse 1, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Listen, I, I believe that the Bible wants us to know that the Lord is faithful. Listen, no matter what we do, no matter what we say, no matter uh, what others say, He abides faithful. He, he will not change. He cannot change. Listen, I'm thankful for that. He cannot deny Himself. God has to be true to His character. He has to be true. He has to be faithful. Uh, as, as we read in our Bible, and we come to Revelation chapter 19 and verse 11, two of His names that's wrote on Him, on His uh, side and on His thigh, it says faithful and true. Amen. Listen, He's going to have a name wrote on Him. But it's faithful and true. Listen, I, I believe He wants us to know that He is faithful. Yes. Listen, shouldn't we as Christians be try to be faithful? Yes, sir. I believe Amen. we should. Yes. Listen, we ought, to, we ought to be thankful that the Lord is faithful. Yes. Yes. Listen, I'm thankful for that. But listen, uh, I was uh, as I was studying stuff uh, yesterday, I, I opened the Bible up and uh, I, I, I didn't have no specific verse in mind, but I opened the Bible up and just happened to glance down at the page. And here's the, here's the verse I read. Lamentations 3, verse 22 and 23. It is the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed Amen. because His compassions fail not. Amen. They are new every morning. Yes. Great is thy faith. I'm thankful for that. Yes. Listen. If it wasn't for His mercies, we'd be consumed. Amen. Right. Amen. He, he could kill every one of us. Listen, He'd still be God. Amen. Yes. But His compassions fail not, the Bible yes. says. God. They're new every morning. Yes. Great is thy faithfulness. I, I believe that He is faithful. I, 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 I've proven that from the very fact of His Bible that He had wrote down. Yes. We, we can rest in the fact that He is faithful. Yes. I'm thankful for that. And uh I read this a while ago, but I, I, or quoted it a while ago, but I'll read it again. Hebrews 13 and verse 5. I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Amen. He's not going to forsake us. Right. He's not going to leave us laying on the roadside or laying in the ditch somewhere. No matter where we go, the Lord is always with us. Right. If, we, listen, if we've been saved and uh, uh, we're, we're doing what He uh, wants us to do, He has saved us, washed us in His blood. We believe everything there is to know about Him. We, we, uh, we listen to His Word and what the Word said and the, the Word is true. Yes. He's not going to leave us or forsake us. No matter what we go through. Listen, we, and we all go through troubles. We all have uh, times where it seems like the Lord is not there. But there's never been a time that He wasn't. Right. It seems like it a lot of times. We, we all, we've all read the old poem uh, about the footprints. Listen, it, it says, and it goes about the, said the, as I went along and the way got hard. Listen, there was two sets of footprints. It said, the hardest days of my life. It was just one set, and it said, the poem goes on to say, Lord, where was you? And the Lord says, it was in that time that I carried you. Mm -hmm. yes. Listen, He's not going to leave us. Amen. Just because we go through troubles and trials, He's faithful. Amen. 
Listen, he, he's not going to leave us no work. Listen, I, I've got a few other verses, man. I'll get to another point. But Psalm 107 and verse 1 and 2, it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom He hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Listen, that, that's what this uh, Psalm 100 is talking about. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Now listen, as some of you already have tonight, you've testified of the fact that God and how good He's been to you. Well, listen, that, that helps each and every one of us. That's, that's not just somebody running off the mouth. Uh, I've been in services like that, but, but most of the time it, it comes from the heart. And the Lord Jesus Christ has poked their heart and they, they speak up and they testify, not of themselves. They testify of the Lord Jesus and what He's done. Amen. And we're thankful for that because it increases our faith. It helps us to know that, hey, we're not the only ones here. We're not the only ones going through the same old world, world today. We're not going through the mundane by ourselves. We're not in this Christian life by ourselves. The Lord is with us. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. He is with us. The Bible says always, even unto the end of the world. Listen, He's going to be right there. And listen, we're thankful for that. But uh, Psalm, Psalm 107, I, I've done changed where it was. It said, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. Listen, when we, when we begin to do what uh, Psalm 100 tells us to do, listen, to, to praise the Lord, it does two different things. It, it decentralizes self. It means it gets us out of the way. All our focus comes on the Lord Jesus. The book of Hebrews says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. That's who we're looking at. Listen, to, when we start praising the Lord, we, we, we get ourselves out of the way. We no longer thinking about ourselves. We're thinking about the Lord, Jesus Christ. That, that's what it said here. Uh, Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and unto His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name. Listen, what, the Lord Jesus Christ, when He died for us, he was selfless. He was, he was selfless. He wasn't selfish. If he had been selfish, he'd have been like us. But no, he was selfless. He didn't think about himself. The Bible tells us over in John chapter 15, I believe it's verse 13, or I may have them mixed up, but it says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. When he'd done that, he wasn't thinking about himself. He was thinking about us in need of a God. In need of a Savior. He was thinking about us. So when we begin to praise the Lord, it decentralizes self. It gets us out of the way. And it also dispels sadness. Listen, we can't be sad very long before thinking we get ourselves out of the way. We, we forget about what we're going through. And we look and start giving praise and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. We've got nothing sad to be. We've got nothing sad to think about if we're doing that. We're, we need to be a happy people. It said, serve the Lord with gladness. Listen, come before His presence with singing. Listen, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't sing unto the Lord and be sad. We shouldn't. Bless him, Lord. It says, serve Him with gladness. Listen, we, we've all heard the old saying, oh, I had to go to church today. No, I didn't have to. Amen. I could have stayed home. But I get to go to church yeah. today. Yeah. Listen, it is an honor and it is a privilege. And we still have that in America. Mm -hmm. Listen, we could be like our brothers and sisters in other countries. Listen, they have church, but they're hiding to do it. Mm -hmm. We don't have to hide to come to church. We don't have to get permission from nobody to come to church. They didn't stop me on the road tonight and say, where are you going? Nobody stopped me. But listen, them people in them other countries, they're more thankful. They're more grateful. And they're going through persecution. Listen, we've got it made. Listen, we don't give it a thought. We're not very thankful. We're an ungrateful nation many times. But listen, I'm thankful for the times that He has forgiven me. I'm thankful for His forgetfulness. 
I'm thankful for his faithfulness. I've got two more and I, I'm going to hurry with them. But I'm thankful for his family. He has given us a brand new family when we got saved. Oh, I, I, I've, got a, I've got a good family, yeah. earthly wise. I, 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 was, I was raised up in church, taught the truth. I know to do what was right, what was wrong. I was taught that. Listen, even as Timothy, there in the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, he talks about from his mother's, uh, talking about from a child that was known the Holy Scriptures. Listen, listen I know that. Listen, I was raised the right way, but listen, when I got saved, he gave me a whole new family. Amen. Listen, I, I've got brothers and sisters that I don't even know. Amen. Listen, I, I'm just meeting some of them. Listen, me, me and Brother Vern, we just met not long ago. And I, I, I met a few of you out here at the Fall Festival, but listen, we've got brothers and sisters in other countries and stuff yeah. we know nothing about. Right. But listen, they, they're believers in the Lord Jesus Christ and they've been saved. Amen. Hey, they're our family. Praise God. I, I used to see Sister Rose and she played the piano over here at Brookhaven. We'd see her in there. Listen, that's how I know her. Amen. Listen, we would we'd be having service in there and she'd be in there playing the piano. Listen, we've got family that we've never met. Listen, as as time goes on, listen, the, the more the more people that are the more saved people that die and go on to heaven. It's like the old song said that we've got we've got more family on the other side than we do here. Amen. Right. Listen, we, we don't know about all the family we've got. Yeah. We won't meet all of them until we get to heaven. Amen. Listen, we won't meet all of them until then. So I'm thankful for our family. And here's the last one I've done. I'm thankful for forever. Amen. Listen, it, it's just going to be a few more days. Listen, we're going to be with the Lord. Amen. I don't think it's going to be very long at all. Yes. But listen, we're going to be with Him forever. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for forever. Listen, when the, when the Bible says that we have eternal life, I believe that. Listen, when it says that we'll be with Him through eternity, I believe that. I have everlasting life. Listen, this old body, this old shell is going to die. But listen, this... We're going to get a new body. Listen, we're going to live with the Lord Jesus Christ forever. Yes, amen. I'm thankful for that. That's all I have on my heart tonight. You, I, I'm thankful for your attention tonight. Brother Vernon, you come. Do whatever you need to do. Close out or whatever. But if you're here tonight and you don't know the Lord Jesus, He loves you. Yes. and he, He's offering forgiveness to you. That's right. He'll save you if you'll come. Amen. amen. He said, come, drink the water of life free. Yes, sir. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Appreciate you. Good. Thank you. Amen. 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 We thank God for that good God-centered, Christ-glorifying message tonight. God bless you, Brother Jonathan. That bless my heart. I feel like I've been helped tonight. We thank God for the word that's gone out here in this place. We've got so much to be thankful for, and I sure am glad that God has sent a reminder to this service here tonight. Father in heaven, we love you. We thank you, dear God, for your many blessings.